year to do something unique in your life. When you read the book of James, chapter 4, verse 7, put it on the screen. Okay, James 4, 7. Yeah, put it, make it fast, make it fast. Because this morning the atmosphere is going to change. And now because, because you have a anointing of foreigners. And the way this anointing came across, it may be it's very, very marvelous. But by the grace of God. So you put it on the screen. Yeah. Submit yourself before to God. Resist the devil and he will free from you. Mami amplified version or NIV. NIV. Yeah. 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 That means. As the channel said, say, give me NIV. NIV. Verse 7, verse 7, 4, 7. James 4, 7. Bible 4, 6. Four, verse 7, and I read the NIV version. Submit yourself, stand to God. Yeah. Resist the devil. And he will flee from you. Amen. Amen. Therefore, and submit to God. Submit to God. For whom I write. But he will see the devil. And he will flee from you. That means the devil will never run away from your territory. Unless you submit yourself to God. And the moment you submit yourself to God, God gives you capacity and ability to resist the devil and run away from you. This simple means of course the devil. Of fight against the devil. So your submissive will give you ability to destroy the works of devil from your territory. So this morning, God is going to use his servant to break up every demons and principalities and all the devils that are signed in your life will run away from you. In the name of Jesus Christ. About three days of clap for Jesus. About three days, about three days ago, Bishop came to my shop. And he told me that when he's coming to buy a ring for his wedding, he prayed to God that a lot of shops are occult or operating by evil spirits. So God should delight him to the original shop when he buys his ring for his wife. Everything will be unique. Yes, so when he came to Accra, the first lady he asked of rank is my daughter. Is my daughter. Love for Jesus. So my daughter brought him straight to my shop. And when he came and saw that I'm an apostle, he said that God is faithful God. But I pray to God. I want a shop operating by divine power and authority. And God has led me to your shop. So, so he bought a ring for his wife and his own. And after that, after he bought the ring, he told me that God spoke to him directly that he should come and bless her today. And I told him, Apostle, a bishop, unless I pray over it. So I pray. He came there that day. So I pray on Friday and Saturday. And the confirmation came on Saturday night, which is yesterday night. And God told me that you should come and bless us. So only this morning I call him the bishop. Now the way the way is clear. So you can come and bless us. He's a Nigerian. And his wife is black American. So they came to Ghana with the last three last three days. Yeah, last three days, and then Madame came from US to Ghana. And the wedding came on last with yesterday. So in the first couples that come to bless us, they went to another dimension. It's a bishop. 
Oh yes, of Penny. So the name of Sof Mami is Anita. Anita. Yes, of Mami, a friend of me, Anita. Yes, so sorry. That's what they are coming from. So Anita. Anita. Clap for Sof Mami, Anita. Bon sema, bon sema, Anita. Bon sema, bon sema. And then get ready for the mountain. We are coming. Get ready for the mountain. We are coming. 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 We a bishop general hey, yeah. who is praying by God's power. Oh, then, yeah, me too, me Let too. us keep our hearts together. Yeah, boy, yeah, to them, yeah, to them, yeah, to them. Let us keep our hearts together. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I don't think that's big enough for your pastor, thoughtless of God. I said, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I think that's not big enough for him. I want the one bigger than him. I said, yes, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's good. That's great for the church, yeah, the yeah, pastor, yeah. and everybody. Uh, yeah, and if you know you're excited being in God's presence, and if you know that being in God's presence is not a joke, no, that it's a reality, and you know that you are yet to take to receive from the infinity, I want you to shout a praise. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I believe in life that things don't just happen the way they happen. I don't live a natural life. I live a supernatural life. Are you hear what I'm saying? I was born February 7th. And I was born again February 7. And I was filled by the Holy Ghost February 7. And I'm going to do special thanksgiving for my wife February 7. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I want to say I am glad I am uh, being here. Immediately I entered a job, I saw him by. The, the eyes of the spirit, it detected that this is a man of God. And I saw him looking at me and he was smiling. And already God has led me to the shop. Because the place is anointed. Hallelujah. And when I was going, he didn't say that to my wife. He gave me a Bible, he said, because my presence and changed the place. I went to, I saw a woman. In a petrol station. She just sat down moody. And then I, I said, oh, this is sugar cane. It's not easy to get. I want to get one. So I went there and I took one. I asked her how much. She said two CDs. Okay. So as I was looking for change in my pocket, in less than Three minutes. What she carried, sleeping since morning. Three minutes. People just rushed, came. They brought everything. They brought everything, and as I was going, the woman ran to me, said, "Who are you?" Listen to me. Don't live a natural life in a supernatural world. A king fell from the staircase. A king fall from his staircase. And the king died. And it was written in the Bible that the king died because he's an ordinary man. Ordinary people don't rule. Ordinary people can never be in the top. When you see a rich man, whether Christian or devilish man, there is something that kept them at the top. It is not luck. It is supernatural. It is either the devil empowered them to destroy them or God empowered them to bless them. So I choose the side of the Lord. I say, who is on the Lord's side? 
I am on the Lord's side. I will tell you something about that now. But first, before I go on, I want to appreciate my heart, my sweet heart, my sugar, sugar, my honey, honey, my sweetie, sweetie, my one and only. Are you people jealous? I have a fine wine. And most especially, anointed and most especially she submits to me you know some people when they are fine they want to rub shoulder with their, wife. With their husband don't rub shoulder with your husband no. all of you here hallelujah god bless you my wife she's a great encouragement so as i'm preaching she's preaching with me she's an evangelist in the United States of America. Oh, yes. Now, I want to say, before a man bless a people, when God wants to bless a people, he gives them a prophet. There is no people that receive encounter without a prophet. Without an apostle. Without a pastor. Hallelujah. Amen. So, I want to appreciate this man of God who has the eye to recognize grace. What did I say? He has a eye to recognize grace. I said before, ordinary people don't rule. If you see a man progressing, there is something empowering him. Ask that man, please, can you help me? <laughs> I never know you will have me this way. Come on, let's sing it. I never know you will have me this way. I never know you will have me this way. Honor me this way. As I was, I was singing the song, man of God, the Lord told me. He said to me to tell you. He said, You think you are okay. You think you are satisfied. He said, But there is something missing in you which it is about to do. As I took that song and talked, he said, that is the song you will sing. He said, that part in you is going to come. That part in you is going to fulfill. And that thing is secret, is hidden. That is going to bring, and when it comes, the world will see. Hallelujah. Amen. Today I'm not going to prophesy much, but as I lead, as I as I go, the Lord is going to lead, lead me as I go. Because I saw your left leg become good. And that is a level that is unusual. That is a perfect envious level. And 
I saw them mentioning your name in the television. Ow. Ow. Not you men saying it. People was they were mentioning your name. It's your time. It's your time. Can you join your hand for this great man of God? Amen. Amen. You can have your seat. Now, sometimes, you don't know the, um, you don't appreciate what you are. There are people that will speak. Heaven will be open. When a father speaks concerning you, heaven is open. Now listen. Let's go to the word of God. The Bible says, let us look to the book. I want to talk on the topic, the power of the fathers. Now, let's trade because of time, I'm going to be fast. Isaiah, uh, Genesis 27, and I read. Genesis 27. He said, and it came to pass that when Isaac was old and his eyes was dim, he called unto his son Esau, and he said, go give me some venison such that I love. He said, go kill meat for me and bring them for me. You know why? Now, he said, venison is the skin of deer. You know, the skin of deer. And then, you know how deer is the, almost the second fastest running animals after cheetah. Now, before you get a deer, you must be ready to go a long mile. Before you catch a deer, you must be ready to go a long mile. And now God is telling his son, I am about to give you a generational blessing. Isaac was telling them, he said, I'm about to give you a, a blessing that will transfer to your generation, 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 and your generation will be called blessed. And then those kind of blessings, you don't get them by rice and beans. Those kind of blessings, you don't pick them by the road. Side. Men that are men prepared to bless. There is difference between prayers and blessing. There is difference between prayers and blessing. There is difference between I am praying for you and I am blessing you. Men that want to bless don't pray, they bless. Hey, blessing is not. Hey, shasha, ba, da, da, da. Hey, let go. Men that are men, they prepare to bless. They mean what they say. You don't know that there are some pastors you will meet. Oh, uh, Papa, Daddy, bless me. Oh, see that you are blessed. You are blessed. You are not blessed anymore. They prepare to bless. He said, Come, my son, go get me that. Thing. I want to put you on a journey. Run, run, run very fast. I want you to go extra mile. Get me that thing that will make my heart. Happy. And he said, Bring it. And the young man went on a journey. You all know the story. I know how all it all ended. But that is not where I'm going to. Now, if you go to the book of Genesis 49, Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You will hear when Jacob. Call the children. He said, come. I'm talking about what? The power of the fathers. I have preached the gospel for 28 years. I was 21 years when I got born again. All the native doctors in my village, all of them came against me. And they called me for their meeting. And when I appeared with my boys, their staff of office disappeared. Man of God, do you hear that? I say, when I appear, their staff of office disappeared. 
Do you know what the staff of office is? How many of you know what it is? In my town, what they call the staff of office, they call it the Ofo in the Igbo language. And that is what the old land depend on. Now, the Ofo is what the old land, both the king and the native doctors and the chiefs and the Dibia, that is what they depend on to manifest anything. Without that Ofo, their native power can no longer operate. And it is that Ofo, when you come there, the thing will make you, you begin to behave like a fool. You'll be afraid once you come there. But when I appeared in that place, hallelujah, amen. Now the Bible says, what happened to them when we appear? He said they, he said the mountain flee like what, like ram. He said the hill jump like lamb. He said Jordan was divided. He said because of their fine face. He said because their face are fine. Or is it because they are cute and handsome like your pastor? Or is it because they are beautiful like my wife? Why? Is it the reason? Uh, yes, I'm asking you, is it the reason? You say because they come in the power and the name. Of the Lord. So never live a natural life in a supernatural world. Ordinary people don't rule. People are bathing. Boom, they die. They say, no, it is the ground that sleep there. It is not the ground. It is the devil that are taking the life. The staff of office disappeared. Pardon. Yeah, that staff of office disappeared. They couldn't attack me spiritually. I was 21 years, very slim. Mm. Like toothpick. <laughs> These people did not look at me like a little boy. My God. Next, I Just no imagine you have a 21 years old son. And then very slim. I was just tall, but if you see me, I have like bone. The way they dealt with me, they fought me as if they are fighting. <laughs> they fought me. They came with police and army. Man of God, 21 years. So you know years. that they were not seeing me. They were saying the big God in me. 21 years they took me to court. 21 years, and they vowed that they would bring me down. Why? Because my God disgraced them. And they said they must disgrace me to disgrace my God. But can anybody disgrace God? I said, can anybody disgrace God? I said, can anybody disgrace God? I don't know how many people that are waiting for you to be put to shame. I don't know how many people that are waiting for your husband to die. I don't know how many people that are waiting for your wife to die. I don't know how many people are waiting for your children to die. I don't know how many people are waiting for your business to die. They are waiting for your career to die. They are waiting for your life to die. Your song this year will be, I never know. You will honor me this way. I never know. Now, there is a man in our village called Mbulushe. The man was among the two men that brought them. My father was a billionaire in Nigeria. He has transport everywhere. Um, Bechimak, 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 truck, lorries everywhere. One day he went to the village. And then one of our trailers came to meet him in the village. And the trailer could not go back. He said, okay, sleep, tomorrow morning you drive it. When my father came out in the night, he saw two men, Ochiba and Mbulushe. They were going around the car. Because he's an ordinary man. He looked at it and said, ah, he told my mother, I saw Ochiba and this man, and he took it lightly. That same day, 
day, the trailer was going back to city. The trailer killed a doctor and a lawyer. Case began. From one car to another car. From another car to another car. A billionaire now had to go and rent, rent a rented house. From rented house, we have to move to the village. A billionaire that will come to our village, all the village people will gather. When we come to our village, all the village, hey, Mike is around, Mike is around. All the old men, they won't go to farm again. All of them will be in our house. Yes! My God. If you are not careful, you will face that in your life. If you take things for granted, you will face it in your life. Never live and watch a natural life in a supernatural world. And when God empowered me, I started doing signs and wonders. I started raising the dead. I started dictating to the God kings what will happen to them. And when I come to you, I will just talk to you, king. When they see me, they are afraid. And then God blessed me. I moved to the city. And one day, I met with that Otiba that brought my father down. Because I became popular. They had to do one big meeting. And they called me to come. I was in that meeting. Our royal sons. They called them our big sons. Because I had money. Then I brought me. And the old man was there. What the old man do? If he looks at you, we see your star. If you come from America, they will deport you. They won't allow you to go back. He will manipulate on you. If you come with a car, the next time you will come with bicycle. If you have a job, as you go back, they will sack you. He wanted to start the destiny of all the youth in the society. And that day when I sat down, he was looking at me. And when he talk, I talk. People will say, oh, man of God, take it easy. I say, no, because I'm already angry with him. So immediately he got angry. And he pushed his spirit. River started moving. Nobody saw it. But there was a battle between me and the man. Never live a ordinary life in a supernatural world. River was moving. They didn't think. And what is the work of the river? No. To wash away the destiny of people. No. He brought the river against me and their God. And then I looked at him and reversed the river by the blood. And he closed his eyes. He moved in the chair. Nobody knew what happened. Three days after, the man died. I want to prophesy to you something will happen after now. Any principalities in your foundation, in your family, in your neighborhood, that is all in your progress, all in your life, all in your destiny, shall it train you, shall it train your destiny, your finance, your marriage, your life, today they will jump fire. Oh. That was how the man died. And then from there, I began to bring great, great men into my village. The greatest people that have ever stepped their leg into my village, I brought them at the age of 24. At the age of 24. I don't know how many of you that know people like uh, Evangelist Dr. Sonny Okosu. He's a musician. He's dead. Umokbai, you know his brother. All those big, big preachers. As a little boy, I was doing things that old men. What I was doing then, 24 years, what, what I was supposed to be doing now. <laughs> what I was doing in 10. You know why? Because I was not living a natural life. I was living a supernatural life. Now, when you live supernaturally, you live ahead of your time. You live a what? Ahead of your time. When people are talking about uh, buying 
uh, renting a flat. We begin to think about building a estate. Because you are living supernatural. You are not living by your pocket, you are living by your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 